Okay guys, this is in short how you wire logs on. You have the mini server which needs the network, we have digital inputs for window contacts and other stuff, we have relay outputs but here it's 10 ampere and the relay extension has 16 ampere. Then you have the 24 volt and the link which you go to the next extensions. It is all powered by the power and backup, I used the first circuit 2 ampere. And then the mini server is alive and the extensions need to be wired in a line. And at the very last one you need the 120 ohm resistor. Next we use the second output of the power and backup for the periphery like present sensors, push buttons. And they are wired in a bus topology. So typically I go in one room with one cable, either the Loxon cable or like a KNX cable, a cut cable. And we need four wires, twist a pair, be careful. And I typically put them on terminal blocks. So I just go with my tree extension branch left and right. I go on two terminal blocks typically, and then I distribute to the rooms. Then I go first to the present sensor maybe, then next to the push button. Depending on the country you live in, you have dry walls, you have concrete walls, that's your point then. Next we have 24 volt light, so we use the dimmer tree. And you can use it either for one color light, RGBW, or four circuits just dimmed, or two circuits tunable. So if there is like a normal light circuit dimmed, then we go with one line and the dimmer has the plus and it dims the minus. So this is the four channels. So I go to a terminal block as well and then I go into the room with the lighting cable directly to the light. And then next we have the permanent power from the breaker, depending on how you, how you do it and how you distribute it, like usually in your country. Then I go with the permanent power there. And then if I have a switch light or a shading or whatever, then I use the same breaker from the same room and I use the permanent power. And then I go onto a relay and then I could bridge it here like this and this. Then it's up and down for shading. This could also be just one relay. I go with permanent power here and if the relay closes then the light is switched so the second one the output of the relay goes on the on the high voltage side on the lamp or on the shade up and down and that's how you wire it and how to program it is also super easy but that's a topic for another short